world are you doing to my, my it's pot? A drum. That's my pot belly stove, man. I thought it was a drum. <laughs> it is a drum. <laughs> it's a 30 gallon drum, and it's just the right size for a pot belly stove. Fair uh, and I were trying to figure out how to pronounce this. Vogelschlagen, Jigenschlagen. Vogelschlagen. Vogel, Vogelzang. Vogelzang. Anyway, it's made in Holland. And uh, I ordered this on Northern Tool after seeing um, Bill Gowdy make a pot belly stove with one of these kits. And uh, let's see if we can turn this box over, Barrett, and we'll show people what the kit is. This is what the kit looks like. And it's funny because I'm not sure if they're, yeah, it says fits 30 or 55 gallon drums. And uh, I think it's going to work better on the 30 because the 55 gallon is just too big. Don't you think, Barry? This is the 55 gallon, 30 gallon. Now, the difference in these also is not just the size. This is a, I see, 20 gauge uh, metal for that one. And this is a uh, 18 gauge. So this one will hold up better as a stove. So what we're going to do first is the fun part. We're going to mark out the door on the uh, end of the barrel. All right, so we marked out our opening here. And you can see I left a margin around there for the door to bear on. All right, Barrett, you ready? I wanna cut this thing out with my trusty grinder. This is a cheap, kind of a cheaper grinder I bought, cut off grinder because I let Paco and them borrow my good one. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's just kind of become this, the, the grinder that I have in, at home and we have another one on that for the job so anyway it's been a pretty good grinder haven't used it that much but it's pretty good I suppose, Barrett, if you wanted to be a real Tennessee hillbilly, you could just use that for the door. <laughs> Put some hinges on it. <laughs> okay, so we just put a, a few bolts in to hold it still while we drill the rest of the holes. That looks pretty good, doesn't it, Barrett? It does. I need to take the grinder and maybe clean up some edges in there. But uh, those are back up. We'll try to get this bracket uh, straight. Now what we're trying to do without spending all day on it is trying to get this lined up this way, you know, like this so we don't have it rock or you know the door tilted in front so let's see if we can figure that out and we'll come back okay so Barrett and I just put a couple of these bolts that we couldn't get really get to with the drill we put those in first but we can drill these now since we're it's going it would be hard to line all four of these holes up so do as much of this as we can like this Alright, so now Barrett and I are wondering how we are going to get the other legs straight. Barrett, put the other legs in the back, you know, set it up under there, and we're, we may just have to figure out a way to maybe use some tape or something to... Alright, so what we're trying to do is make sure the legs are on straight so the thing didn't sit cockeyed. So Barrett, we came up with this idea of 
marking the holes. So what you're going to do, Bear, is turn the spray can upside down and spray a little. <laughs> Did it get you? Spray a little paint through the holes. Don't do a lot. Just do a squirt. Okay, like that. And look under there and make sure you're hitting the hole. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll turn it over and the holes should be marked. Gotcha. Hit both of them. Well, you don't have to hit both of them. Just hit the one. Hit yeah. the one hole because make sure you hit the one hole. Definitely hit it, yeah. Well, that worked pretty good. That actually worked really good, didn't it? There's That's the two how... holes. I mean, you're, you kind of, you white. went a little crazy on the other side, but <laughs> good job. <laughs> Now we know where to drill the holes. So you feel pretty comfortable with your holes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Walking on me. I'm supposed to use a punch to, to mark these. All right, so we've got our pipe marked out here. Uh, so I'm gonna just try to attempt to cut this. This is pretty heavy gauge metal on this barrel, but I think I can probably get it with my jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. So there's our steel pipe that we bought yesterday at the steel store. Bear it, see if it'll go in there. Oh yeah, perfect. See if I can't run a bead. It's been a long time since I've done any welding. See if I can make it look any good. <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> Ouch. Don't weld in sandals. I was messing around with the tensioner here and I think I got it to work. But uh don't have much wire left, so but we found a piece of loose wire in here when we opened the door, so I don't know if it was getting tangled up or not, but... All right, Barrett, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Breaker kicked off. You just you'll just kind of slowly run it around, not too fast. All right, but I'm gonna watch through the viewfinder. All right. Just do maybe an inch or so. Okay. Hold it about a half inch off of it. There you go. Now put your hood down. Now now pull the trigger. And so you can see it when you turn it on, right? Yeah. All right. Oh man, too much. Huh? <laughs> I guess you should go fast. Well, as fast as it's feeding, I think words. what's happening now is that it's working. We can turn the feed down, feed speed. Yeah, I got all the way down now. Really? Yeah. All right, all right. close your eyes. We're gonna burn this wire off. All right. Yeah, it's working now. <laughs> Crazy thing. There's nothing like I can really do anymore, is there? Well, we're just you're just kind of playing because we don't we don't need to do any more welding, but. Huh. I just want you to see, go ahead and try it a little more. Get set, get your arm braced, and get the spacing right. Now pull the hood down, now pull the trigger. Don't move so fast, son. Don't, I, don't, I can't even see I'm doing anything. <laughs> you gotta get used to the, 
idea of no you kind of get a feel of where you are but, um, yeah you don't don't move your hand so leave your hand in one spot one spot for a second just to get a feel like pull the, you get like a bubble like that bubble yeah like you're supposed to get like a bead and kind of roll it oh. um, Is that a bead? I can't I can't look you're you have to look through your helmet huh. that's working long all right stop yeah, look at that. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I need to train you how to weld so you can do all of our Get welding. You, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Good job, son. <laughs> Helmet hair. <laughs> Helmet hair. Oh, well, we got the welder fixed. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I dropped that one. <laughs> funny that. It's gonna burn that log in it. Funny. Our little piece of kindling is gonna save us. <laughs> we just had to burn a few pieces, didn't we, Barrett, to, for the inaugural? Let's see if we can. Let the heat up. Close the door. See if that little draft will work. Look, it's working. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> I don't see any. You see any smoke coming out around our welds? I don't. Hey, I must not be as bad as I thought. <laughs> All right, we got her going good. Nothing like the smell of a little pot belly stove, huh, Barrett? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Yeah, that's cool, Dad. <laughs> uh, well, we'll just let her burn out. We're going to run back over to the job site. Go ahead and close the door back there, Barrett. We didn't put much wood in there. We just wanted to have, just had to try her out, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> Barrett was like, we made a smoke machine. <laughs> <laughs> How much do I have in this, Barrett? The, the barrel was about, uh, what, $30. The kit, uh, which is the door and the two leg, you know, two stands, um, that was about forty dollars. So that's that seventy, eighty bucks. And I bought that that piece of steel pipe. Really, it's too heavy. You don't need something that heavy of a gauge, uh, but that was twenty bucks. So for what a hundred bucks, mm -hmm. got a stove that last. And the cheapest pot belly stove I could find was two hundred dollars. Oh wow. Yeah, and that didn't include any chimney pipe. So mainly what I want is something, and I'm going to put uh, two little, I'm going to take two pieces of angle and bolt them on the side so that they're, you know, we can put a grate on top. And I want to be able to uh, melt my ballistics gel out here because it stinks up the house when I try to do it inside. So I do have some specific, uh, you know, reasons for building this thing. Uh, other than just the pure enjoyment of being able to sit outside in the winter and have just a, um, you know, a, fireplace, a source of heat, yeah, a little fireplace. All right, we gotta go back over to the job. It's popping. <laughs> We're just gonna let it burn out. We appreciate you guys for watching. Nice.